Welcome to the University of Scranton. We're so excited that you're here with us and we can't wait to show you around campus. There is so much to see, so let's get started. Welcome to the estate, which is home to our Office of Admissions. My name is Bridget Penn. I'm a senior occupational therapy major from Brooklyn, New York. The University of Scranton is a Catholic and Jesuit institution that delivers a transformative education grounded in the liberal arts. With over 3,800 undergraduate students and an average class size of 20 students, the university offers amazing opportunities and top-rated facilities, but does so in a personal way. U.S. News & World Report recently ranked the University of Scranton among the top 10 best regional universities in the North for the 27th consecutive year, coming in at number six for 2021. As a Jesuit university, our philosophy is grounded in the idea of cura personalis, the individual attention to all students and respect for the uniqueness for each member of our university community. The academic experience here is all about finding your passion. Through the rigorous classes and the relationships with faculty, students are given everything they need to be successful. Students often have unique combinations of majors and minors and take advantage of honors programs, faculty student research, study abroad, internships, and mentoring to help them gain practical experience. With 70 majors and 47 minors across three colleges, faculty and staff work with you to choose a combination of majors and minors that suit you as an individual. Regardless of what you choose to study, Scranton's liberal arts core curriculum invites students to explore the humanities using literature, history, religion, philosophy, and languages to illuminate the other subjects they might be studying. With a focus on reading critically, writing skillfully, and speaking persuasively, the core curriculum prepares students to succeed in graduate school or in any career. So whether you're applying to medical school, law school, or your dream job right after graduation, our staff and faculty are here to work with you every step of the way. Welcome to the Loyola Science Center. My name is James. I am a sophomore here at the University of Scranton. I am double majoring in biology and philosophy, and I come from Long Island, New York. So right behind me here, you can see the Loyola Science Center, which is the main hub for STEM here on campus. It is Gold LEED certified and it offers over 50,000 square feet of teaching and research labs. So the Princeton Review actually recently ranked us number eight in the country for best science research facilities. So you can see that we're obviously very proud of our science facilities here on campus. The building offers 24 different classrooms, 34 laboratories, a rooftop greenhouse for research, and a 180 seat lecture hall for speakers and seminars, and even has its own coffee shop if you need a caffeine booster, just a quick pick me up. One of my favorite things about the building is that it actually strives to put science on display. So it uses large glass windows and glass walls to create an environment to students that feel very open and bright for the students. Students will have outstanding research opportunities through one-on-one -on -one collaboration with professors, with many of our students actually becoming authors or co-authors on peer-reviewed publications that are put out by the university. So for instance, my organic chemistry professor is researching organic LEDs. I know one of the biology professors is researching ant brains. So there's lots of opportunities here for you to get involved in different research across campus. Our faculty also serve as mentors and advisors to our students, offering open office hours throughout the week. If you're interested in applying to medical school as well, our pre-med and other pre-health professional programs have a proven track record of success. Over the past three years, we've had a 91% acceptance rates to schools of medicine, dentistry, veterinary medicine, pharmacy, podiatry, and optometry. But no matter what you study, every student will have a chance to utilize the Loyola Science Center for classes because of the natural science component built into the core curriculum. The Loyola Science Center really does have something for everyone, including some of the best study spots on campus. Welcome to the Weinberg Memorial Library. My name is Casey Welby, and I'm currently a senior at the university, double majoring in classical languages and history. I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Scranton places a high priority on giving students all the academic support they need to be successful through services like advising, career development, tutoring, and all the great resources of the library. There are five floors to the library, and each floor accommodates a different style of learning. My personal favorite is up on the third floor because it's the perfect balance between quiet but not silent. The library has resources ranging from books to eBooks, periodicals, and visual aids. If a student borrows a laptop from the library, they have until close of business the next day to return it. Borrowers can extend borrowing period once iPad and Google tablet loans are also available to students and may be borrowed overnight. There are 24-hour Ask a Librarian online services and Text a Librarian help services at the library. And we work with other Jesuit universities to staff hours when our librarians are not available. Students get 200 free prints a semester in both color and black and white, so you don't have to bring your own printer. 
The Riley Learning Commons is infused with collaborative seating and interactive technology available to students 24 hours a day. There are blue chalkboard walls where students can write on. There are larger computer workstations with dual screens, iMacs and Dells, so students have extra space to open textbooks, tablets, and other electronics while working on projects. There's instructional rooms where groups of up to 15 people can meet and can practice and record presentations and save to e-portfolios or electronically to share with professors and classmates. There's group study sections where students can plug in their laptops and project them onto large monitors and easily switch between devices. They also feature adapters for iPad, tablets, and iPhones. There are seven enclosed group study rooms. Two of these rooms are reserved in the evenings and on weekends for the Writing Center appointments. Students can make appointments online or walk into one of these rooms and a consultant will help set up an appointment for them. The Technology Support Center is located in Alumni Memorial Hall, the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence, and the larger offices are located in the Loyola Science Center. They have tutoring services, the Writing Center, the Math Center, and other support services for students that need accommodations. I love studying at the Weinberg Memorial Library and there's so many great academic resources for students. Make sure to check it out. Welcome to the DeNaples Center. My name is Sophia. I'm a junior psychology major from right outside Philly in Springfield, Pennsylvania. The University of Scranton is a fun place and everyone will find something they like to do here. There's over 80 clubs and organizations with something for everyone, and it's really easy to start something new as well. The Student Forum, located on the second floor of the DeNaples Center, is the office where most of the clubs and organizations are held, and it's also a really fun place for you to hang out and do some work on the weekdays. There's also the Multicultural Center, which is house of the Cross-Cultural Center and the Jane Cobus Women's Center. Campus Ministries is also located on the second floor of the DeNaples Center. And since we are a proud Catholic and Jesuit university, the Office of Campus Ministries walks with each student on their own journey of faith and helps him or her grow as an adult. The Office of Campus Ministries branches into four areas, worship, spiritual formation, service, and social justice. They also hold retreats almost every weekend of the academic school year. Many of the retreats are held at the university's retreat house on Chapman Lake, about 20 minutes away, but some involve trips outside of Northeastern Pennsylvania. Across campus, students log about 170,000 hours of community service per year in every corner of the world. Campus Ministries also coordinates daily and Sunday masses at 11 a.m., 4.30 p.m., and 7 p.m. All of our students, regardless of their faith tradition, feel welcomed and accepted here. The community on campus is so friendly and supportive, and all of our students benefit from that. The DeNaples Center also houses two of our main dining areas on campus, which is important to know because the Princeton Review just ranked us number seven in the country for best campus food. All first years will have the ultimate or unlimited meal plan. You can visit third floor as many times as you want throughout the day and use unlimited swipes. They have many made-to-order fresh food options in DeNaples on the third floor, and chefs will even meet with students individually to discuss any dietary concerns, whether you're gluten-free, vegetarian, or anything else. There's also a really great deal called Upscale Wednesdays where you can use some of your extra flex money and pay for really fancy meals such as steaks or crab cakes or anything like that. On the first floor of DeNaples, they also have grab-and-go late-night food options, including Witch Witch, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, a pizza and pasta station, and a Mexican grill. There's a variety of dining facilities all around campus, including the Mulberry Food Court in Montrone Hall, Bleecker Street Cafe in Loyola Science Center, and Einstein Bagels in the Leahy Center. One of my favorite things about the food on campus is that it's so accessible no matter where you are, and also Starbucks does a $1 coffee refills, which has really gotten me through a lot of late nights. The first floor of the Naples Center also has the campus bookstore, the pod, which is like a small convenience store, and the mailroom where any student that lives on campus can get their mail, packages, anything delivered there. On campus, I'm also involved in the Circle K Club, as I mentioned earlier. I'm the president, and that's a really great club to get involved with to do service in the local area. Scranton is dedicated to helping all students do many different service projects, get involved on campus and off, and to always have something positive to do and contribute to the community. Welcome to the Mulberry Fitness Center. My name is Kyle Romission. I'm a BCMB and Forensic Chemistry sophomore from Dallas, Pennsylvania. With a variety of healthy eating options, a wide range of health and wellness programs, and our brand new fitness center, it's little wonder greatest.com named us one of their 26 healthiest colleges in the nation. Our 14,000 square foot fitness center was updated recently with new cardio equipment and the addition of a five station CrossFit unit and an ab coaster machine. The fitness center offers 46 pieces of cardio equipment with TV and iPod plugins on every machine, 22 Cybex units, a free weight area, great hours during the week and weekend, 
Weekdays, 6 a.m. to midnight. Weekends, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Locker rooms with showers and a three-year rotational cycle of new equipment. We also have an indoor pool, walking track, racquetball courts, volleyball courts, and basketball courts located in the Byron Center. Outdoor options include a sand volleyball court and tennis courts. There's also group fitness classes available, such as Zumba, yoga, circuit training, and dance classes. If you're interested in intercollegiate athletics, the university has 23 Division III teams and has a newly built athletic campus. The Kevin P. Quinn SJ Athletics Campus includes our new baseball stadium, softball stadium, and multi-purpose stadium, all of which have new synthetic turf. The multi-purpose stadium, which is home to our lacrosse, soccer, and field hockey team, also meets NCAA regulations for hosting national NCAA tournaments. We also offer a number of club and intramural sports. More than 1,500 students are involved in recreational sports and intramurals, including leagues, tournaments, and weekend special events every year. Club sports compete against other colleges and universities, while intramural teams play against other University of Scranton students. I've loved my time here at the University of Scranton. With great resources like the Fitness Center here, it makes for an all-around great student experience. Welcome to Freshman Housing. My name is Trey. I'm a biology major, a senior, and I'm from West Orange, New Jersey. We want you to feel like this is your second home. We will do everything we can to offer you a warm welcome and help you feel a part of the community as quickly as possible. 88% of freshmen live on campus and 65% of incoming freshmen are from outside of PA, including our international students. Students stay on campus over the weekend since there are always activities and entertainment on campus. One of my favorite clubs on campus is USPB, the University of Scranton Programming Board, and they're dedicated to having a bunch of fun stuff for us to do on campus. So whether it be they send us to New York to go to Broadway plays, or right here in Scranton, they'll set us up with movies, or going to escape rooms, they'll always have stuff for you to do on the weekdays and also on the weekend. The university offers guaranteed housing for four consecutive years. Unless you're commuting from the local area, students are required to live on campus freshman and sophomore year. In their junior or senior year, students in good academic social standing can apply to move off campus. Our freshman year residence halls, like this building behind me, offer traditional style housing. Sophomore year is quad style housing, which means two double rooms connected by a shared bathroom. These rooms are bigger than our freshman rooms and each have their own sink and vanity. Across the street, you can see Montrone and Pilar's halls, which are two of our junior slash senior apartment buildings. Juniors and seniors have apartment or house style living, which can range in size from three to six people spaces. All apartments are equipped with a full kitchen and a shared living space, and most apartments offer individual bedding for students. You can select your own roommate, or Residence Life can match you up based on your housing questionnaire responses. For your first two years, we have something called light housekeeping, which means the maintenance staff will come in your rooms every other day to vacuum your floors as long as they can still see the floor and also take out your garbage every day. One of the most fun events on campus is freshman move-in day. So as a first year resident, you'll receive a time and location to where you'll move in and you'll be greeted by a bunch of sophomore, junior, and senior volunteers who will welcome you to campus by helping you bring all of your stuff to your room. We hope you enjoyed your tour of campus today. Whether it's our friendly community, our awesome food, or any of the wonderful things to do here on campus, the University of Scranton has something to love for everyone. Thank you so much for touring campus. Our admissions team is looking forward to working with you, and we hope to see you soon.